Okay, we're back. I just want to go over real quick how you order. If you see something in the video you like, you uh, put in the timestamp with the colon in between. So it, on my computer, it turns blue. And I can press on that and go straight to your item that you're wanting. Also add a small description like necklace or bracelet or ring and a price. That helps me to make sure I identify it in case you happen to give me a timestamp that's in between items. Uh, if you haven't done business with me before and before you comment on the videos, you should email me at myskywatch2 at gmail.com with your PayPal email if you have one. If you don't, that's not a problem. Your shipping address, your YouTube name, your full name first and last so I can connect your YouTube name with your full name and also I'll need your full name for your shipping. We ship only in the U.S. and shipping is a flat fee of $5. We invoice at the first of the month or if you reach $100 in sales, whichever happens first, sometimes it goes over $100 before I get to it, but um, it's first of the month or $100 whichever happens first. The exception is, is unless you need it immediately, then you can tell me that in the email or send me an email and say I need my order and I'll invoice you and send it out. Except for this week while I'm gone. So, we're going to keep going. Oh, yeah. Which I'll probably be back by the time you see these, so disregard that last remark. This is a pretty, it's a pretty shelf. Uh, necklace that I've ever seen. These are glass red beads, a barrel clasp, little flower uh, beads in between, and then if you turn it over this side, it's the same way, so, you know, if they flip and roll around, you still see all that prettiness of the shell. I'm going to do this one for two dollars. Next one we have is a hook clasp. This looks silver. This is a deep red, too, I think. These look like they're garnets. Now, this is silver. It's not magnetic. I can almost guarantee these are garnets. Oh yeah, it's going to be silver. Oh yeah. Yep, they're both um, fluorescing, so we have silver. And I believe garnet. There's no way, way for me to test it here. So we're going to assume they're garnet. And they're going to be priced like they're garnet and silver. And that necklace is going to be $20. I can test it before I send it out. But it's a beautiful, deep, rich red. That's beautiful. Very dainty. Wide necklaces are very pretty. Let me me let me measure the length, honey. Okay. He kept, goes to grab it and I take it back. Goes to grab it and I take it back. Lord, I don't know why he married me. He's sitting over there wondering too. No, no. <laughs> 16 inches. Here we go, I honey. I'm going to get smacked. What? <laughs> I'm not going to smack you, even though I do have the ruler in hand. You were a hottie. Still yeah, are. Yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, honey. He's been teaching me to say that 20 mm. years, 47 years now. <laughs> Thank you, honey. When he compliments me. I'm just still amazed he's in, he loves me. It's hard for me to believe. Okay, here's some pretty little earrings. 
And they have a little rhinestone up at the top here. I love the, um, the cutout on this. It kind of looks like electronic to me. Like, what do you call that on, when you're working on a, a... Circuit board? Yeah, circuit. Circuit board. What that reminds me of. Very cool, though. These are $2. Thank you. We have a bracelet. And it's got a lobster claw clasp. But it doesn't say it's silver. These are little crystals and black beads here. We're going to do this for a dollar. This, I believe, is silver. And silver and something, or maybe silver and silver. Hmm. Let's see. I don't see any marks on it. Let's see if I can get it on. <laughs> can I? Can I? It's tight. It's made for a smaller wrist, but fits me good. Well, it might come off. Oh, it's going to come off. See, it came off real easy. So, let's oh, see. It's underneath your paper towel. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Oh yeah, this is going to be silver. Everything's coming up silver. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. I can see that. And that one's weighty. And that one's going to be $25. It's um, textured and polished. Here's some vintage earrings. There are screw backs. This one's a little bit out of line. No more out of line. Let's see if I see any marks on this. These feel nice. Why can't I find any of those vintage ones that are gold? Yeah. They have that Nautilus shell. Like, oh, look, these are not magnetic. Oh, please be gold. We're going to start out with 10. If we can't, no, because we can't open it. That's not the one you told me to open, though. I know, but this is another one. I had to, I brought a brand new 10 and a brand new 14. Well, we'll we start might... out with 14. Okay. See if it survives 14. No. So it's not 14. They don't be 10 carat if they were. Did you get that junk off? No. Well, here, let me play with that while you look for a pen. Well, you don't want to know what I did, so we still might be okay. You, you already unscrewed it? No, no. You don't, you don't want to know. Okay. You don't want to know. <laughs> okay. You spilt it on yourself. Oh, heavens no. Okay. That's all I care about. As long as you're okay. I'm okay, fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. We're going to yeah. come right back in a minute. Give it. Okay. We just realized that once you take the cap off, you don't have to poke a hole on there. I thought you did, but you don't. That's probably why mine hadn't been squirting out right in the past. Okay, what happened to the lid? Oh, it's way over here. Anyway, I tested the 10 carat. It didn't do anything either. Really? You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. What's wrong? I shut the window. Oh, yeah, if I can look in. Let's see what? Let's see us. Looks so 
Wonderful. Uh, these look like those nautilus shells, sort of the, the twirl. These are nice, and they're not lightweight either. I have to test them again for something. They gotta be something. Because they're not showing up uh, copperish. They could be brass, I guess, gold over brass. Does that one need it? Well, it ain't coming out, honey. Not like the other one, huh? Well, phooey. So I wasn't crazy. Well. Well, where's that thing I did? This. Because he's got a nice tip on it. Yeah. Problem is, it... here. Never mind. Here. Not that long. I don't think it's long enough, but the big tip. We're still trying to test these. Hey, I'm still trying to poke a hole in this thing. I'll show you this while we're doing that. This little bracelet right here is going to go in the Hobby Lot. Look at this. A tiger. Doesn't go on to anything. Very cool. We're going to do that for a dollar. Still not, not. Okay, honey. Don't, don't worry with it. Consider it not worried with. I'll use the 18 carat. And it went right away. No fluorescent anything. So this must be gold over brass. They're absolutely beautiful. And there's no tarnish on them at all. I'm just kind of shocked. We're going to do these pretty vintage earrings that look gold to me that did not test gold. We're going to do these for $5. Okay, this we did for a dollar. Okay. This is adorable, it's little earrings, but we found three of them. So you could turn this one into a pendant if you wanted to. Just take the earring part off and slip it on a chain. And so we're gonna do the three of these for $4. Sugar skulls. And here's the backs. They're completely white on the back. Excellent condition. They're, the wires are in excellent condition. Here you go, honey. Thank you. Here we have a tassel that went on to something. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. It looks vintage. We have this necklace here, which is another Napier. There, lobster claw clasp. Nice chain on this box chain. Comes down to this pendant here, and either that's is that where? Or is it dirty? Inquiry minds want to know. I'm gonna put this in the hobby lot. It it looks. Very worn, or either it's got a lot of hairspray on it, or perfume. That's what it looks like. Somebody sprayed perfume all over it. Sorry, Have this little necklace here. It's got a lot of tarnishing. It is magnetic. Gonna put that in the hobby lot. Have this little piece here that's got all these little stones. I'm gonna put it in the hobby lot. I'm just trying to get stuff out of the way, honey. That's this is a bolo tie, part of a bolo tie. There's the back. And this is the what it looks like. 
we're gonna um, we're gonna sell that one for three dollars. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, this is missing a piece. Pretty. This is your necklace here. And all it needs, the chain's in excellent condition. You could take this off and get you a lobster claw clasp or either a spring ring clasp and attach it that way. It's a pretty little necklace. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Here's a bracelet. I believe it's silver. It's got the safety chain. It's very tarnished. Very tarnished. Let's see if I can wipe it down a second here. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry, guys. I'm slow tonight. Yes, get on with it, please. We may not even want that. Yeah, that's going to be silver. Just need the inside to clean up. Definitely need some cleaning, polishing. I need to get me some of those cloths they call sunshine or something everybody talks about. Oh, here we go. Here's some writing. I can't read that, can y'all? Wow. Thailand, maybe. Nope. SU 925. Looks like Thailand. So, yes, this is silver. And it's a little box clasp. And yeah, you see how pretty the silver that is. Just fits right in here. Flat clips. This is medium size. We're going to do this one for $20. Okay. Oh, it's a little pendant, a unicorn. We have any more pendants? Mm. We have a cross. Keep looking. With little um, CZs in it. There's the back. We have a little heart. It's got five rhinestones in it. Mmm, was that a pendant? We have another wire pendant here. It's very cool looking. I don't. That's uh, acrylic of some kind. You see any more? Oh, I see another one. Here's another one. That's very cool. There's the back. Any more? Evidently, I can't see them, so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. I don't see any more. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do these for five dollars. They're nice pendants. Oh, that one looks like it has a ruby in it. Uh huh. Well, you didn't tell me that. You tell me not to bother you when you're. <sighs> Mike wants to test it for gold. Huh? Huh? Test it for gold. You see 14 carat on it? No. Okay. I'll test it for gold. That's why your little heart was broken. I don't want to break your They're heart. Both right there. Just, just stop it. <clears throat> this one. Eh. Oh. oh, it's not even gonna. Okay, it's not gold. No. I can't get it to do anything. Okay. 
It's got a little red stone in it. And we're doing that for... Oh, you're testing something else. That's not. Yeah. This might have been. This is marked, I think. Okay, I'm taking all y'all's fun away. You would have gotten these. Huh? No, that's Mark Davon. Okay. Okay, but these are pretty pendants. They need a little bit of cleaning up. And they're $5. Now, let me see a happy face. Mm -hmm. Just remember, they're getting a deal. We want to make them happy. It's important. Okay, we have some little button earrings. Any more earrings? Oh, yes, some more post earrings. We have these, very pretty orange color. They feel really good. I don't know what's going on back here, though. They, they spilled it over or something, but these are done very nice. No scratching or anything. Then you have these beautiful cat's eyes in blue. There's the back of those. I don't think they're marked. I don't see any marks. So we'll do these three pair of earrings for $3. Very pretty. You've got a sunset going on here. And that blue and that orange. Here we go, honey. Okay, thank you. This, I call it a dash and dot. It's silver, I think. Let's see. Yeah, 925. I don't see it on the clasp, though. And then here's your chain. And it is. I'm going to test it, though, too. The chain is 20 inches. That's a nice length. Oh, the fireplace went off. Okay. Yep. Nope. Nope. Well, that fluorescent then died out like pronto. I would say no, this is not 925, but it sure marked that. So, we're going to do this little chain for $5. Have this little bracelet here that's got all these pretty little blue stones. We're going to put that in the hobby lot. what that is. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. That's the LM on there. Here's a pendant we missed. Nice and big and gold tone. We'll do this one for a dollar. Here's another pendant we missed. We'll do it for a dollar. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. A very beautiful thing that's very broken. There's your S hook. You see, it's broken. We're going to put that in the hobby lot. 
a little tea. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Funsville coin. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. A little earring. That looks gross. We're going to put that in the garbage. The garbage lot. <laughs> the garbage lot. Here's a clip. I think a shoe clip. Here's another one. Here's this. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe a maybe a pendant. I don't know. But I'm gonna put it with this clip. What is that? I'm looking for clippy things. Here's another clip. I'm gonna light your fire. Here's another clip. Are there any more clips? I don't see any. So we're gonna do these clips. These are vintage and people may be looking for these. So I'm gonna sell them for $5. What is this, honey, this coin? Looks like somebody made a pendant out of it. There he is. Okay. Anniversary of founding of Charleston. <coughs> Wait a minute. Where's my eyeball? Founding of Charleston, South Carolina. 300, 300 something centennial. Huh. The 300th anniversary of the founding of, we're keeping that. Okay. I want to keep that. That'll go to one of the boys. Would like that, yeah, I know sure. he would. Okay, that's a Dalton collection. <laughs> I'm glad I looked at it. It's going to sell that thing. And he would love that. The heart. The heart of. The Hart Fordshire Re Regiment. Some kind of regiment. It looks like either Canadian or British. Canadian or British? Yeah. Okay. Hertfordshire. Well, we're going to call that a. Yeah. We're going to do a curiosity lot. I don't know what this is either, but it hooks. It must hold your scarf or something. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. And this snaps to something, but I don't know what. This, I don't know if this is a ring or what. We have these tie pins. We have these. Are these buttons? Uh, yeah, I think so. Or are they cufflinks? No, they're not cufflinks. Okay. These cool buttons, mother of pearl. Very vintage. We have this pin here. U.S. Junior College of, I don't know. This is a curiosity lot. Vice President. Mm. U.S. Junior. C-O-F-C. Whatever that is. If you want to be Vice President. We're going to do all of these. 
There may be single cuffs. There's a pendant we missed. Of course. Another pendant. We well, let's put these over here with the pendants then. These earrings here. Oh, earrings. These are cuff links. Some tie pins. This one's got um, abalone. This one was cool. This should be made into a ring. The cuff. And then this one. And let me see what else. Y'all didn't see close up. This was the thing that snapped. I'm going to go get some ice. Okay, honey. Um, what else did I not show you up close? I hope I showed everything I was supposed to. We're going to do this little curiosity lot for four dollars okay and we're gonna do these little pendants these two little pendants for a dollar one is nice in that this is tassel like I don't know how many times I've wished I had a piece like this to finish off a necklace and then we have this one here These are acrylic. There's your little rhinestone, fasted bead there, a little teardrop piece. Oh, that's got uh, abalone shell. So that's very cool. We'll do that for a dollar. And we're gonna throw in these little pair of earrings with that. And we're going to throw in this leaf. And it looks like it's brass. It's got a lot of filigree work. There's the back side. It's on a cord. So all that's going to be a dollar. Have this little vintage dainty necklace here. It is... 14 inches, so yes, it's vintage. Let's see if I see any marks. It looks copperish. Yeah, even the chain is copper, so it's made with copper. It's got little mother pearl pearls and little. See, that's not magnetic. I'm going to do this little vintage copper necklace. Mother pearl beads and little crystals there. I'm going to do that for $5. I don't know if these are turquoise or not. They're Hickok cufflinks. And they're marked in here. If I can get to where you guys can see it. And you can't see it that well. They're very pretty. I'm going to do these for $5. And we had this button. Nice pearl button. We'll put that in the hobby lot. And I believe that is it. Oh, I got one more thing. Just be right back. Okay, I had to tell him what I wanted for dinner. And this is our last piece. This is the finale. It's Elaine Bryant, still on the tag. Beautiful gold tone. And then the little um, rhinestone beads. Not little, they're pretty good size. This is nice and long. Um, I'm sure it's a lobster claw clasp. Yes, it is. I'm not going to take it out of the package. It's right there. You can see it. Right there. You can see the price of that, too. We're going to do this little necklace for $10. It's very pretty. It'll be a great layering piece, too. There you go, honey. Thanks, Ruth. All right. That's the end of that jar. So we'll be back with another one. And, uh... Y'all have a nice evening, and...
Thank you for watching our videos. And thank you for your thumbs up and your comments. And we'll see you soon. Tell them bye. Bye. We don't have any minion to say goodbye. <laughs> Close enough. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Maniac, maybe, but no minion. <laughs> Stop. Okay, bye y'all. <laughs>